Hello and welcome to Walk the Talk and to where but in front of building number 25, Cuff Parade. I am back here for a second recording after eight years. But one thing remains common. My guest again today is somebody who would like to be described as one of the most Shaitan Chokras of this street. <laughs> Mr. That Baiche is true. Hamid. Haan, Yusuf Hamid, how are you? Yusuf, Yusuf sir. Ji. Welcome to Walk the Talk. Thank you. Aap ko pata hai? Thank you. When we recorded, Zubin I recorded Mehta here, Zubin you were lurking around the corner. That is right. And you said this is where we used to make this tea. That is thing. absolutely true. Absolutely true. Now, and, this and, is. And you haven't changed very much since. I, well, I don't know in eight years, but this is where I grew up, and Zubin was in 21. This is 25. And I believe the sea, sea came right up to the. The sea promenade. came up to there. There was a promenade. Right. And this is all reclaimed land that you see. Right. And I, I believe you once jumped into the sea without figuring that out how deep right. it was. And I hit my head at the bottom in 47. And maybe I'm wiser for that. Right. And was it, were you badly hurt? Very badly hurt. Very badly hurt. 36 stitches on the forehead. But that's a part. You a good surgeon. Yes. But what, I'm happy to be here today because I'm coming and walking here after a very, very long time. And I must tell you the history of this place. Right. My father came and lived in Bombay in 1932-33. Right. He had a small house in the corner. Right. And a uh, room, one room, he couldn't afford. Right. And he and my mother, every night, would walk on the promenade. And this house, at that time, belonged to a pearl merchant, an Arab pearl merchant. And the house was called Jasim House. And every night, it was lit up parties, etc., etc. It is now a heritage building, by the way. Right. So, what happened, party and my father and mother walking here said, our dream is one day to come and live in a house like this. After many years, 34, 35, suddenly everything was quiet here. And my father inquired, what's happened? The Basra pearl merchant went broke because Mickey Moto Pearls had come on the scene. He had to sell the house and he sold it, sold it to a gentleman called Katao. That is why the road here Katao is Street. called Katao Road. Right. And my father then came to the house and says, can I rent a place? So he rented the ground floor, 8,000 feet ground floor for 200 rupees a month. Right. So that's the history here. Yeah. That's the history. And I believe that much other history was made here. And a lot this of became, history was this made became here. became the hangout for great Indian leaders. Because my father stood for elections in 1936 right. against the Muslim League, yes. against Jinnah's candidates, and won. Because in those days, you could only vote if you were a graduate or an income tax payer. I hope the system comes back to India so some of us can get and elected. A graduate might be easier than income tax payer. That's right. right. But whatever it is, so this is the originally Jasim house. And whoever you can think about in the Congress party, the politicians, etc., have been to this house. I remember sharing a room here with Sarojini Naidu, with Zakir Hussain, uh, Sardar Patel has been here, Pandit Nehru has been here. Um, Rafi Ahmed Kidwai has been here, all of them. And then also from the Maharashtra government. In those days it was Bombay presidency. Right. Um, uh, Murarji was in and out of here all the time. B.G. Kerr, the chief minister, uh, many parties. He and I didn't have, I'm mean, a cheap shot, but you didn't have, the, have common interests and drinks. No. And then on this road, Zubin was number 21. Right. But further down the road was M.C. Chagla, then there was a very famous actress called Durga Kote. Durga Kote, yes. Absolutely. She lived down the road, very close friend of I mine. I can trust you to remember all actresses. Yes, yes. Yeah, there was another one also. Right. It was Mehtab huh. and Surab Modi. They lived down the road. So this has a lot of I see your eyes light me. up when you talk of these actresses. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'm sure they light up when I talk of yeah. Pfizer and Merck that and Novartis. Right. And that is right. Novo Nordisk and others. So my father started, Sipla was started in... 35, 36, and then a very interesting thing happened, which is very significant, that in 1939, 
Because my father was friendly with Mahatma Gandhi, Mahatma Gandhi came to Sipla and told my father that the British have approached me that we'll give India independence if India assists us in the war effort. So my father said, where do I feature? Second World War. Yeah. Second World War. Yeah. So he said, medicines from Europe have stopped coming to India. I want you to supply medicines for the war effort. And that's how Sipla came up in life over the years. So and it, it, taught does us, the name have a history, Sipla? Yeah, chemical, industrial, pharmaceutical, laboratory. Uh -huh. That's how he coined the name Sipla. You're among maybe two or three rock stars oh. in their 70s, maybe Mick Jagger and Zubin Mehta in their, in, in their 70s. Okay. You, know, you can fill any, any concert so? hall, any stadium. <laughs> with people, your medicines have cured. Yeah, that is true. But then the whole history, uh, I remember clearly at the age of 12, playing cricket with Zubin in 21 Cuff Parade. And a servant from my house here came running to us. Saab ne ghar jaldi bulaya hai. So I went running home. What happened? Gandhi had just been assassinated. And we did not know who had assassinated him. So my father was glued on the radio for news as to who assassinated Gandhi. And God forbid, if it had it been a Muslim, Muslim yes. it would have been shana, uh, hell to play. But, but you had a Jewish mother. I have a Jewish mother right. and a Muslim father. Right. All my friends are Hindus. Right. What does that make me? But I said it. The odd Parsi like Zubin. The odd Parsi like Zubin. But we never thought of religion. And this is what I said in Delhi last week, month. That the stock is the same. We are of the same stock. Exactly. And in school days and in college here, nobody bothered about religion. Right. We were all one. In fact, on stage I said that in 1925, when my mother first met my father, she called him a Hindu. Uh huh. So you know why? Why? Because the name India did not exist in 1925. It was Hindustan, right. and any resident of Hindustan was a Hindu. And where did your mother come from? Lithuania. Lithuania. Yes. So that's how Sipla started, war effort, etc. Partition came. Hmm. My father was dead against partition. Right. Like Middle Gandhi. Dutch, yes, yes. Yeah, like, like Gandhi like, as well. Like Molana Azad, like. Gandhi, etc. Another person who visited here was very often was Subhash Chandra Bose. Right. Good friend of my father because he was the leader of the Congress Party at the time. Right. At, at some stage. And he had to network with Bombay he had to Balas. network with Bombay Balas. Right. So, so that was that. And then over the years, Sipla has come up. Uh, I then went to study abroad. This is my Cambridge tie. I'm like a great... Cambridge tie, blue shirt. Blue shirt, light blue yeah. uh, handkerchief. And, and I can tell you, I went to a government college in the bootland, uh, in, 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 the, in the boondocks of Jartland. So yeah. I think this black okay. side, India Kurta is I'll just take it fine. off the <laughs> line. <laughs> no, 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 I'm just promoting my okay. uh, my alma mater. Okay. And then government but, college in a, yeah. in a an ex exotic place called Rotak. Oh, shit. I know Rotak well. But what happened then in 1960 when I came back to India after studying? I couldn't get a job because if you were related to a director those days, your the company couldn't hire you. Company couldn't hire me. It had to be approved by the company law board. Right. So anyway, that was one thing. And then I saw the writing on the wall. I couldn't do anything in drugs. Impotent. Why? Because everything was covered under patents. And the multinationals in the 60s, in the healthcare, were ruling. So in these days, anybody calls himself a doctor. Uh, Vijay Malia is a doctor. Jalil yeah, yeah. is a doctor. Karunanidhi, I presume, is a doctor. Everybody yeah. is a doctor, whether they went to class 10 or not. True. Right? Uh, but you are a doctor. Doctor, 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 doctor. Not a medical doctor. Not a medical doctor. But a PhD in, in chemistry, chemistry from Cambridge. Cambridge under and the watch of a Nobel laureate. Nobel laureate. That is true. A genuine scientist. A genuine scientist. scientist. So, and that's what. And you were cooling your heels, doing nothing for some time. For some time. Till I took up the challenge that how does India change its patent laws? And it took us 11, 12 years right. to fight the government to get the old British patent laws that we were following of 1911 to change them and that was changed in 1972. 
So to cut a long story short, otherwise I'll go on all day, was that in 72 when the laws changed, it gave India an opportunity to legally produce any drug they wanted. And it was a challenge. And from 72 till 2000, it was a golden age of pharmaceuticals for the indigenous companies. And why do you say till 2000? It, is it not the golden age after that? No. Because no. international patent laws came in. Inter international patent laws came in uh, in 2005. And the government in their wisdom or what the foolishness backdated the law to 1995, which they shouldn't have done. Because you cannot backdate intellectual property. But they backdated. So today, essentially, you are in a monopoly situation from 1995. Any drug produced, patented, post-95, I can't produce. But CIPLA doesn't seem to have suffered. I see a stock price. We are going here. the momentum. Yeah. You've set up a $5 billion target. Yes. For your but people. why? Out of $5 billion, After retiring. After retiring. $3 billion will be overseas. Right. So we've had to change our model from In being... Fact, I love that you said it's time to leave India. It's not a time to leave India. This is my home. I love yeah, this place. Yeah. This is my home. No, you leave India in the sense of finding markets overseas. Markets overseas. Yeah. That I totally agree. And you'll see that in CIPLA in due course will be a more of a global. We get me more respect. I mean, 50 years of being in industry, like you say, uh, pioneering local manufacture, etc. The government doesn't take me in confidence.